Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be talking about some top grossing stones for Global's 7th anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest that came out yesterday. Now, originally, I wanted to make this video a lot sooner, but for some reason, yesterday, uh, Canada's largest, or maybe second largest, I'm not really sure, uh, network provider, which is the one I'm with, um, just decided to die and I didn't have cell service or Wi-Fi or any way to connect to the internet for a solid like 24 hours. We just got it back this morning and that's why I'm here now. So anyways, with that said, uh, as you can see, we are on the Sensor Tower website. We're filtered by July 8th, which was yesterday, all categories and the iOS store. Now. The good news is that, as I'm sure you guys have heard, or at least, you know, expected, we are definitely going to be getting some top grossing stones. We do have multiple regions that have reached top grossing, both in uh, the games category and all categories in general. So starting here with the United States, as you can see, number one overall top grossing. And since we're looking back, these rankings are locked in, you know, they can't really drop because this is just where they were at the end of day on July 8th, right? So we got the US at number one. Next up, we have France, also number one, uh, Italy, number one, Belgium, number one, Luxembourg, number one, and last but not least, we have Spain at number one as well. So if you're keeping count, that is six total regions that were able to reach number one at top grossing in their respective iOS stores, which is pretty solid. It's not the best we've seen. We've definitely had more in the past, but that's uh, pretty good in my opinion. Now, we also have a bunch of regions that were close to number one, but didn't quite make it. Like uh, Hong Kong was at number two, uh, Macau number two, the Netherlands number two, Germany was number three, Switzerland, number three, and finally, my country of Canada, also at number three. Now, I did check the Google Play Store as well, just in case, and it seems like there weren't any regions that uh, reached number one top grossing over there, but I guess it's always possible that over the next couple of days, we do get a few, but um, I think the highest I saw was like, number nine or something like that so it's pretty unlikely so anyways as i said six regions and number one overall top grossing in all categories and if we go by the trend of how they distribute stones it's usually seven stones per region so seven times six would be 42 top grossing dragon stones right now i know that number seems kind of low and I mean, it's not bad for like a regular top grossing, but for anniversary top grossing, you're kind of expecting more, right? But I do have some good news because as it turns out, last year, they didn't use all categories to calculate the top grossing stone distribution. So here was the top grossing uh, news release for the sixth anniversary last year. And as you can see, it says here, Thank you for your passionate support. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle has achieved first place on top grossing games on Apple App Store in 15 regions worldwide. The operation team hereby expresses our sincerest gratitude. Uh, you know what? I don't have to read the rest. I'm sure you guys know what they usually say. But the point is, they're not only counting regions that have reached top grossing in all categories. They're actually counting regions that have reached top grossing in the games section alone. So for this year, for the Dual Dokkan Fest so far, we actually have 11 regions that reached number one top grossing in games. And what that means is if we go by the trend, then it's gonna be 11 times seven, so at least 77 Dragonstones for the top grossing for the Dual Dokkan Fest. Now last year we did have 15, 15 times seven, which was 105 stones, um, you know, less regions this year. So only 77 stones, which is still not bad, 
is still not bad, but JP did get 100, so I can definitely see some people being disappointed by that. Um, there's a chance that maybe they decide to be nice and just bump that number up to 100 anyways, even if we didn't hit the you know 14, 15 regions that would usually be required for us to get 100-ish stones, right? So um, the point is we're getting stones. It's going to be a good amount of stones. I don't know the exact number. It's going to be probably anywhere between 77 and 100, but do expect a lot of stones to be coming your way. Over the next couple of days, I think we're probably going to get them uh, sometime around Sunday slash Monday. So uh, very soon, very soon. And of course, on top of the stones, we'll be getting some anniversary coins, probably some Kai's, or sorry, not Kai's, some Hercule statues, a couple of medals, and a lot of orbs as well. So um, that's it, guys. That is your top grossing update. Uh, we didn't do as well as yesterday, I'll be upfront about that, but we still did pretty good. So we're still going to be getting a lot of stones, and uh, I wish you guys the best of luck on your summons. Hopefully these stones will bring you the LRs that you want if your initial summons didn't go as well as uh, you would have hoped. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out